Michigan schools will begin receiving the same amount of money per student starting this fall. This comes after decades of unequal education funding. Now lawmakers and advocates tell me the push to close education funding gap didn't come from hard political work, but rather simply because there was more money to invest. So there was money on the table available to do this. Um, it's something that lawmakers have long wanted to do uh, across both sides of the political aisle and the resources were there to finish the job. In previous years, one school might have received thousands of dollars more than another. Back in 1994, when policymakers decided to change where education funding comes from, instead of pulling funding for schools from property taxes, Proposal A meant that education funding was determined at the state level. The proposal was designed to slowly close the gap, but some districts still got more than others. Equalizing education funding has been a, a promise since Proposal A got passed. Unfortunately, from the moment that happened, the ink wasn't dry and the tax base started getting cut to feed that, and that caused two decades of underfunding education. For instance, last year, Lansing School District received $8,227 per student, while right next door, East Lansing Schools got nearly $300 more per student, and Holt Public Schools got about $100 less. This fall, nearly every school in the mid-Michigan area will receive $8,700 per student. Republican State Representative Jack O'Malley, who serves on the House Education Committee, tells me this final jump to close the gap in education funding was like the final payment on a car. For the last, I don't know how many years, we have, the legislature's been appropriating a little bit more money, a little bit more money to close that gap. And so now, you know, you're within that, that, that final payment of being able to buy the new car. O'Malley says it's time to close that gap. And so let's just do it. Although most area schools will be getting more per student, Lansing School District Superintendent Ben Schuldener tells me schools won't necessarily receive more money overall. It's not necessarily additional funding. Uh, it's really going to depend on the number of students that come back. But, you know, because we're coming out of COVID, we're looking for everything about how to address any of the learning loss. Schuldener says the money will go towards tutor mentoring programs, and strengthening the district's existing programs. Lansing has a Montessori elementary school. It has an equine therapy program. It has an international baccalaureate high school program. So there's so many wonderful things that Lansing has. We're going to be using this money to strengthen those programs and to make sure that our students are being served. Equalizing education funding is one step, but Pratt tells me to adequately fund schools, districts would need about two grand more per student. But that's a discussion for a different day. Reporting in downtown Lansing, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Elle Myers, Fox 47 News.